Bone marrow is a soft, spongy tissue found inside some bones in the body. Bone marrow is divided into two parts, yellow and red. Inside this bone marrow, we can find various blood cells that work to maintain our body. This soldier here is T. T is a type of blood cell called a lymphocyte. Some lymphocytes are plasma cells, but T is different. T is a cell that specializes in destroying infected cells that patrol the bone marrow. Do you want to know where these cells are formed? Both lymphocytes and all other blood cells are produced by the red bone marrow from stem cells. Blood cells divide into red blood cells, also called erythrocytes, platelets, and white blood cells, which in turn divide into monocytes, neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, and lymphocytes. These last white blood cells, the lymphocytes or plasma cells, are the protagonists of our story. Lymphocytes generate antibodies to defend our organism against external aggressions. T remains alert to any intrusion, but sometimes the threat comes from within. When plasma cells become cancerous, they grow rampantly, pushing the remaining good plasma cells into a corner. cells and the rest of the lymphocytes then try to defend the body against their former comrades. But the cancerous plasma cells do not stop multiplying and the lymphocytes are outnumbered. These cancerous cells are not content to simply thin out the ranks of the T, but attack other cell types as well, aggravating the impact on our marrow. Attacking red blood cells leads to anemia. Cornering platelets results in bruising and non-healing wounds. This is what is known as multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma is the second most common blood cancer, which is characterized by relapses and develops in the plasma cells, which are the defenders of our body. These events produce what we know as immunosuppression. Fever, sneezing, malaise. Our body loses the ability to defend itself. It is important to emphasize the fact that cancerous plasma cells are not a new type of cell appearing in our body, but a transformation of the good ones. Therefore, they could be anywhere. Moreover, these cancerous plasma cells are capable of replicating themselves out of control. Cancerous plasma cells produce a substance that activates osteoclasts, cells that degrade, reabsorb and remodel bone. In turn, they inhabit the action of osteoblasts, the cells responsible for bone development and growth. Because these osteoblasts do not receive a signal to regenerate the bone, the old bone disintegrates without being replaced by new bone. By now, the disproportion of forces between lymphocytes and cancer cells is more than evident. The protagonist of our story has been left alone in the fight against myeloma. The treatment of the newly diagnosed patient has two possibilities depending on his physical condition. Transplant candidate or non-transplant candidate. The transplant candidate can resort to induction treatment consisting of several drugs and a transplant, while the non-candidate must receive drug-based treatment. If the treatment consists of a transplant, you will have to take injections for four days at home. You can do this on your own. 
These injections serve to mobilize your bone marrow and produce more stem cells. The next step is apheresis. This is the removal of your stem cells. To do this, you use a machine like a dialysis machine. Your own blood goes out one arm and into the other, while along the way the stem cells are left in a bag. This is your new bone marrow with stem cells. The transplant consists of a course of high-dose chemotherapy through a vein. In one or two days, it kills your bone marrow. The next thing is to put in the new marrow. The stem cells will enter through it until the bag is emptied. After those days, you wait for the new bone marrow to germinate and start to grow. The body notices and you are aware that something has changed. You've had a bad few days. But when the marrow takes hold and starts to function, everything gets better.